For 40 years, a huge open pit nickel mine has gnawed away at the ancestral lands of the Zenu indigenous group in the Colombian region of Cordoba. For us, this has meant the destruction and deformation of our Mother Earth. Everything is contaminated. The water, trees, the forest, birds have disappeared and medicinal plants too. Israel Aguilar is the spokesman for the region's indigenous communities. He says the mine has had a huge effect on his people's health. Every time the wind blows in this direction, it brings particles, microparticles, towards the community, and we feel it. We have always been so robust, so why do we now get sick? And when cancer began affecting the community, we said, this is getting out of control. The community has seen a vast array of different types of cancer, respiratory ailments and skin problems. Everyone in the Guacari community is sick. Since the beginning of the 2000s, people's health has really deteriorated and they suffer tremendously. I feel a burning sensation here and in my eyes. I had to go to a pharmacy to buy eye drops because my eyes burn and water. I've been like this a long time. I feel pain in my entire body, from the knees up. I've been suffering like this for 16 years. And about 10 years ago, my body became covered in moles, and it really affects me. It makes it hard to see, especially on this side. <laughs> A decade ago, the Zenu community mobilized against the mine, blocking access to it. Thanks to the protests, they were given some financial assistance. Some 1,250 homes were built or renovated by the mining company. Yolanda was one of the beneficiaries. Two years ago, Cerro Matoso gave her a house. Look at this crack here. This house is only two years old. <laughs> Yolanda lost her health. In return, she got a crumbling home. The walls are bare and the sheet metal roof makes the tropical heat unbearable. They cheated us. They manipulated us. I'm sure they thought... We'll just give these Indians a house, and they'd be grateful. But they don't know how much we've suffered. The mine extends over 85,000 hectares. The nickel is extracted from a vast crater and is processed into ferro-nickel on site. In 2022, more than 40,000 tonnes were produced in its ovens. Not far from the mine site, Cerro Matoso set up its own health clinic managed by the company's non-profit foundation. There, members of nearby communities have access to free health care, but the diagnoses never point the finger of blame at Cerro Matoso. Through periodic checkups, we know how the health conditions of the community have evolved, and there is definitely no specific disease profile related to living near the Cerro Matoso mine. In its legal battle with the nearby communities, the company is defended by powerful attorneys. More often than not, their arguments win out. For their part, Clan del Golfo, the illegal armed group that controls the region, takes a negative view of challenges to big economic interests. Israel regularly receives death threats. Despite the risks, he continues his work with the communities. In Puerto Colombia, 750 metres from the mine, there are the same tired looks as in other surrounding villages, the same fertility problems. Traces of nickel have appeared in blood and urine samples of the residents. 
We have never been against economic development. No. What we're against is the way that it has been done. They want to stop it by stepping on the humans that are close by. They don't care about us at all. They come here and act like there are no people here. We are people too. In 2022, Cerro Matoso's mining license was extended until 2044. The giant mine that threatens the future of the Zenu is far from becoming a distant memory.